Now let's create this thing, this slider on the home page. So for that, we'll use a very beautiful thing in Divi theme, which is hardly available with any other competitor, which is the visual front visual builder. So at the top, you'll see this enable visual builder. Just click on that. Now the visual builder is uh, enabled and now we can create everything that you see uh, on the demo website. So now let's first create this uh, slider. So for that, how are you, when you hover, you see different buttons over here, as you can see, when you hover at different sections, you see different buttons. Now we have to add this section. We have to click on this button, the blue button. It will insert a new section and from here, click on full width insert section and then click on full width and from here select full width slider this one now we have different options for example arrows it shows uh, it is selected show arrows hide arrows now let me tell you what that is as you can see when we hover here uh, on this section we see two different arrows so that you know we can change the sliding uh, by us uh, by our own self so that is basically the setting we are talking about. So make sure it is show arrows and then we have controls, slow uh, shows uh, slider controls. See, these are basically the slider controls. Fine. Now uh, rest everything is fine. According to me, you can have automatic animation so that, you know, instead of uh, uh, without uh, anyone pressing this different arrows, it will automatically change the slide. So if you select this, that will be uh, activated and you can also change the animation speed. Then you have parallax effect. You can also use a parallax effect. Uh, if you want, just select this, make this yes, and it will be done. And we don't want to use uh, image from your background image from your. So just leave these things and come over here and click on add new item. When we add a new item, we are basically adding a new slide. So basically now we'll be adding this slide. Here we have to put in the heading of this slider. The heading is new season, new styles, everything in caps. So let's type in new season, new styles, fine. At present, you won't see anything or if you see carefully, you'll see something over here as you can see when I hover because the color is set to uh, white and everything uh, in the background is also white. So we are not seeing that. But when we put in the background image, you can see everything. Uh, everything will be visible to you. Now the subheading is shop spring. OK, and the button text, it asks you the button text. Here it is. The button text is it says shop now. So let's put in shop now in the button text, but in URL, uh, you can put in the URL uh, on which you want to redirect this button. Suppose I want to redirect this button to my cart page. Then I, ha I have to put in the URL of the cart page for now. Just leave this and now select the background image. Uh, I'll give you a link in the video description below wherein you will find all the images, everything so that you can use the same images that I have used or you can obviously use your own image. So now let's click on background image and click on media library if you already have some image but we don't have any. So we will have to select the upload files. Now click on select files. Okay, so this is the image I have used. Uh, when you click on that link, which I am talking about, uh, you'll get a zip file which says images. And when you will unzip those, you'll see two different folders, media and product images. In media, you'll see this image. Okay, so just select this image and click on open. Okay, now click on upload an image. Now as you can see, uh, we can see the image right now. Now you can set the uh, image position. Uh, let this be default because this is quite a big image. Uh, basically, when the image is small, you know, you see different tile images. So we don't need this at present. So make this default background size. Also, you can uh, select cover actual size fit. Let this also be default background color. We don't want any background color because we have a background image. 
you can use background overlay in fact i would recommend you guys to use an overlay because as you can see when we see this image we can see the text very clearly but here we are not able to see the text very clearly so when we use an overlay it helps for example keep seeing this image and when i select no and when i select yes you'll see the changes over here see when i select no this uh, image becomes light and when i select yes there is a darker shade on the image you can also change the color of that shade for example you can select background overlay color and if you put yellow as you can see the uh, everything becomes yellow and you can change the opacity as you can see over here we can change the opacity for this we can also change the color green blue anything we want but i want to make this as default so i just click on clear so this looks fine according to me now we also have text overlay just leave that for now you can also upload in a video but we'll see that later now text color light or dark we want light that is white and dark when you select dark it will become black but we want white because in our demo website also we have white text okay and then we have this background image at mp4 you can uh, upload in video that we'll see later okay now in the content you'll have to type what you want over here shop spring so we'll type in shop spring okay now just click on this tick button save changes again save changes and here as you can see we get this very ugly uh, blank space over here now what we have to do we have to delete this space so how are you when you hover here you'll see this blue uh, section over here now here we have this dustbin icon just click on that and as you can see the space is gone now we have to change the size text everything uh, for these things so for that again hover this section and you'll see this small box over here now click on this gear icon for the settings now again select this one uh, this is the first uh, slider which we have created and click on design here we can select and we can you know change all the font and the font size the font color and everything okay i just noticed that i have typed in a hope now instead of shop now so let's go to the general option and change that to shop now okay you can also change the custom arrow colors for example these are white you can also change those colors from here you can change the dot navigation custom color these are the dot navigation custom colors you can change those also and make sure the text overlay border radius is set to 3 now let's uh, change these things this is the header at present now we don't want this much big header for example as you can see here it is very small so we want a small one so just you can you know decrease the size from here as you can see the changes on the image on the image over here you can see the changes you can set any size uh, i'm setting as 25 you can also type in 25 over here because uh, this is the size uh, used in the demo website so i'm you know following those standards also if you notice this is bold so just click on bold from here and this will become bold or you can also uh, uh, change the size let's put it as 30 pixels that will look fine okay now we can uh, change the letter spacing let me show you what letter spacing is make sure you see uh, this thing the title and see the changes when we change the letter spacing you know so you can do that also but i'll keep it at zero pixels now coming to body font this is the body font now we want some really big font for this so what we'll do is we'll select the maximum size that is 100 pixels and it is overlaying but don't worry about that we'll set this changes over here now from body line height just increase this don't not this much okay this much is fine one em is fine for okay now we have to select this one and this also should be bold so come up over here in the body font select bold okay so now we have bold over here we have bold this thing also now come down and select this one use custom styles for button and select yes because we want to change this 
style for the button. Now the button is quite big. Now we have to decrease the size. Okay, you can decrease the size from your uh, I basically want 15 pixels. So just type in 15 over here. You can also select button text color button background color. So as you can see over here, the text color and the background color are different. Text color is basically white, which is fine. As you can see the text color of the button is white. Now we have to change the background color. So background color, which I have used in uh, this demo website is hashtag 3FB0AC. Now the border radius, as you can see uh, around the border, uh, around this button, you will see white uh, line that is the border. You can increase the radius of that and you can also decrease that. So it is all up to you. I personally think two pixel is fine. It is looking good. Now you can change different things over here again button border color uh, at present it is white you can change the border color also for example let's select red now you can see the border color is changed to red but that looks awful so just clear that now you can increase button border radius which we have seen uh, button letter spacing again that is the same thing letter space the same thing and click on this to undo this uh, changes which you have now you can change the button font you can also change the font for this and this from top now when you hover this as you can see there is an icon uh, an arrow icon we can change that icon also let's see what we have used over here we have used a cart icon so let's use a cart, a cart icon for this one also okay here it is now as you can see when we hover over this button we are seeing a cart icon we can also change the icon color uh, but we don't want to do that because it is white and it is looking fine okay so i think everything is fine for now just click on save changes again okay so this is how your website should look like now so we have successfully created the first slide now let us create the another slide so again click on this gear icon and now there's a very special feature in dv you know instead of doing the whole thing again and again we can just click on that uh, to copy this slide so let's do that now as you can see when we hover this we can uh, see the arrows and dot which we were not seeing earlier because we had only one slide now because we have copied the same slide we can see the thing again now let's again click on this gear icon to change the settings so basically the thing is we'll be create, uh, keeping everything the same the heading and the subheading and the button because i have shown you how to create and how to edit these things so we don't need any further more uh, we don't we don't want to do the same thing and again and again now let's only see how to change the background thing so we at present we have a background image so let's select this and delete it we don't want a background image now we want a background uh, video so come down here you'll see background video mp4 just click on upload click on upload file and as i said you in that uh, images media you will see something called ink video just click on that and select open now click on upload a video now click on save changes okay now let's change this slide and see the changes now as you can see we have a video in the background so once you do so just click on over here save if you are not getting this save option just you can click on this three dot as you can see the button which has three dot when you click on that you see the save button over here so make sure you save all the changes which you have done so that you don't lose these changes for this lecture i think this is enough uh, in the next lecture we will be creating info box and we'll be setting different uh, we'll be setting up woocommerce and i'll show you about the settings of woocommerce i hope you guys are enjoying the video Keep watching. Thank you.